up? Hello and happy Thursday. No, I'm not gonna. Let's not do accents. <laughs> I don't know if that offended anybody. So hey, what's up guys? How you doing? How's it going? Are you flowing? That was inappropriate. Sorry. Um, so, workshop this week. I'm going to be talking about Rachel's poem. Not her poem. Her short story. Which is really good. Rachel, I really enjoyed your short story. I thought it was really awesome. And um, I, I, I kind of felt as though I could kind of relate to Maureen. Because West Virginia was like a new foreign place for me. The people did have different, you know, thicker accents and, you know, everyone has an accent, but, uh, you know, the accents I had down here was, you know, different than the one that I've grown up with, you know, my whole life. So yeah, I guess I can kind of relate to Maureen, which is why I really liked your story. That and our names each start with the letter M. That makes us awesome with like three M's. So now I'm going to read my little excerpt, well not excerpt, it's just, it's just a poem, I guess. Um, I wrote this for an English class for my freshman year. You can either rewrite one of your essays, one of these essays, or write four poems. And he really likes poetry, so I went with the poetry, because I want to be smart. I'm not that great at essays. I'm not going to tell you guys the title, so <clears throat> maybe you guys will be able to like, be a little thinker, be a little something you have to think about. <sighs> My heart feels like it's been broken for the hundredth time by the one that should have never left me out in the cold. You don't care for me, you just carry me. Not even a phone call. Nothing. You always leave me here alone. I wonder if you even remember my name. I sit on this bench waiting for you to come, freezing, sniffling, searching, but you never show up. I see more sunrises than I do the light that lights your way. Remember the places we've been and the people we've seen? You're always the one to pick me up when I needed you, to carry me to safety and warmth. Where would I be without you? I can't go on. Oh, please, don't forget me this Sunday. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. All right, next I have a little haiku because Anna wrote my number on Monday and I have to write a, write, write a haiku for Twig. I nicknamed this Twig. I hope that's cool with you guys. This is how you write it. I wrote it down so I because I wanted to show you guys. Reading and writing. It brought us five together. We are also girls. Thank you. Thank you. No applause please. Snaps. Appreciate it. So today's word of the day has been brought to you in part by Webster's New World Pocket Dictionary 4th edition. It's awesome. Persnickety. It means fussy. It's an adjective. Persnickety. Thank you, handy dandy pocket dictionary. Well, I guess it wouldn't really be a pocket dictionary. You can't really fit in your pocket. It'd be kind of like bulging. Let's see, had a pair of like Jenko jeans. Do you guys still, do you guys even know what Jenko jeans are? Do you guys remember that? My brother had a pair in like the 90s. Those pockets were huge. You could probably fit a baby in there. You know. And a dictionary. But like a full size dictionary. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> oh my gosh, man. So, anyway, since um, Tara was very clever about her uh, challenge, I decided to just go with a question this week. It's a pretty simple question. Um, if your life was a movie, what would the credits, the title credits song be, or the ending credits song be, or both? I got all the stuff here. I'm going to put it in my drawer. Because, um... Hat is like elsewhere. <laughs> so let's see. Rachel! Rachel, that's your question, girl. So yeah, anyways, uh, have a great Thursday. Enjoy the rest of your week. Have a lovely weekend. No, I need to stop saying lovely. Have a Uh, discomfort, Ooh, no, <laughs> don't have a discomforting weekend, have a delightful weekend, yes, delightful, have a delightful weekend, and I'll see you guys next Thursday, Danielle, I'll see you tomorrow, later.